Morning, boys and girls. It's really good to be with you this morning. I hope you're doing well. Um, and I'm bringing you this kids' talk from, from England, so that's a wee bit different. Um, don't worry too much, though. Essentially, I'm in England and the camera's in England, but apart from that, uh, things are pretty similar. I'm sure you've all been missing certain things over the last few weeks. Life's a bit strange. You're probably fed up of hearing that. Um, I wonder what you've been missing. One of the things that I've been missing is, is sports. And I like playing sports a wee bit, um, but more really watching sports. I like sitting on the sofa and watching sport. It's a bit lazy, isn't it? Uh, but some of the things I've been missing are live football matches, um, what else, R rugby, um, cricket, um, things that are, lots of team sports, but things that aren't even team sports, like, like squash or, or tennis. Things that aren't even sports, like, like, like snooker. Absolutely love snooker and, and really miss it. But these things will be back, uh, we hope. But anyway, to cheer myself up this week, I thought I would dig out all my old sports tops and, and, and have a look at them and, and just reminisce about them a wee bit. And I guess one of the things that I miss most about sport is the competitive nature of it. It's, it's, a, it's like a live competition, isn't it? Um, if you're watching a replay of an old football match and you know the score, it's, it's not much fun. It's the competition that brings it alive. It's, it's trying to score a goal. It's trying to run quicker than the other person, jump higher. So I thought this week, when I was looking at these sports kits, I'd set myself a little competition. I'd see how quickly I could get them on and off. So let's see how I get on. In between times, I'll see if you can recognize some of the kits as well, but see how quickly I can, I can do this. I've been practicing all week, okay? So, first one. So, what did you make of that? I told you I've been practicing. Hopefully you recognize this first sports team. Can you see that badge there? Yep, Northern Ireland. Football team, Green and White Army. Okay, let's see how we get on with the next sports team. Okay, so this is the second one. We've changed sports this time. A couple of different badges for you. Yep, so this is the, yep, you see that okay? Yep, South Africa rugby team, isn't it? They're called the Springboks sometimes. Uh, my brother bought this uh, top for me when he was in South Africa. Okay, different sport again. This is a hard one. Okay, so it's an Adidas top. You've got this badge here, Mumbai Indians. I don't know if you know where Mumbai is. It's a city in, uh, in India. This is a cricket top, the Mumbai Indians uh, cricket team. I think they're current champions of the Indian Premier League. Okay, got one more sports team for you. Okay, last team then is this football team. Used to be famous. Don't know if you've heard of them now. They're not in the Premier League anymore, but they're my favourite football team. Um, yep, that's uh, Leeds United. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. That was that was fun. Um, and I've been busy this week, feeling very athletic, very competitive, setting records for getting changed. Well, thinking about these different sports teams got me thinking how being a Christian is a bit like being part of the same team. And I think that's really important to remember, particularly at the minute when things are all a bit strange, things are very different. Um, we're not able to meet together regularly on a Sunday in the same building. Um, maybe you're feeling quite different. Maybe you're feeling quite lonely at times. You're not able to um, meet with your other friends at some of the midweek organizations. But it's encouraging to know that the Bible tells us that as Christians, we have certain important things in common that are even more important than being able to meet in the same building week by week. In the book of Psalms, we read how good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Well, God's people are Christians and God wants Christians to have certain things that they have in common, certain things that bind them together, that they share. And I want to tell you about two of those things now. First of all, it's our identity, 
who we are. How would you recognise a Leeds United player? Well, they might be wearing a kit a little bit like this. They'll have some of the Leeds United badges on. Um, they'll be white and, and yellow and, and blue. They might be running out to play uh, at Elland Road, the Leeds United Stadium. Uh, Leeds United fans will be shouting their names. How would you recognise a Christian and what sets Christians uh, apart? Well, it's our faith in Jesus. It's the fact that we've said yes to trusting in Jesus. We believe Jesus is God's son. He died and rose again for us to set us free from our sins. And that's at the, the heart of being a Christian. That's what gives us our identity. And that's something that we, that we share and that we have in common. The second thing then that brings us together as a team is our shared purpose, what we're trying to do. Well, if you think of the Leeds United team, what are they trying to do? Every time they go out onto the pitch, they're trying to score as many goals as they can. They're trying to stop the other team scoring goals. They're trying to win games by doing that and maybe hopefully climb up the, the league table, maybe get promotion into the Premier League, win some cup games, get a trophy that way. They've got shared purpose that, that brings them together. What's our shared purpose uh, as a group of Christians? Well, once we've said yes to Jesus, we'll want to live for him day by day. That's our purpose, living for Jesus. What will that look like? So many things to potentially talk about there and, and some of these things you can pick up with maybe some of your adults later on. We'll want to follow Jesus' example in the Bible. We'll want to obey God's commandments and, 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 and live holy lives for him. We'll slip up sometimes, of course, uh, and praise God he, he, he's promised to forgive us. Other people will, will slip up and, and as Christians we're, we're asked to forgive them as well. We'll want to tell other people about Jesus and, and help grow his kingdom that way. That's just some of the things that we have in common as Christians as we seek to live for God. That's it for this morning. So in summary, remember, uh, as Christians, we have a common identity. We all trust Jesus, and that's the most important thing that keeps us together as God's people. We have a common purpose as well. In that sense, we're a team as well. We want to live together for him and, and support each other uh, as we try to do that. I hope you enjoy the rest of the service and have a good week. And thanks for listening.